Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mrs. D and welcome to my life. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this macrame jar candle holder. Um, I fell in love with macrame almost two years ago when I was planning my DIY boho wedding. I'm searching for these decorations that I could do by myself and I passed through these macrames and I, from that day, I just fell in love with them. So obsessed and um, I just want to share it with you guys. So today, um, I'll be sharing with you how to make this one. Um, it can be a candle holder or it specifically uh, depends on how you want it to use. It can just be a simple home decor but it's very beautiful and it's very nice. So I hope you will like this video and let's not take it long. Let's go to the tutorial. So this will be the materials that we need in this DIY project. So we need the cork board, we need the needle pin, we need the jar because that's where we're going to put the DIY later. Um, we need the macrame cord of course cut into strings like these so this is the cotton cord i got from amazon and this is three millimeters in size i'm gonna put in the description the link where i got it from so you guys can check it out so for the size of the strings guys what i did is i measured out the length of this jar since this will be the one that i'll be using so technically it depends on where you're gonna put the macrame project to so um, I just measured it four times, two, three, four, four times of the height of the jar. And um, you just have to cut in the same length. I'm going to put in the screen uh, how many strings I got in total because I'm not sure how many I needed for this project. So guys, for the string that we're going to use as the base here in the mouth, so what I did, actually I already cut it out but I'll just show you how I did it. So I measured out again four times of the length of the jar and then after that, um, what I did is I also measured out in the same string, I measured out the mouth of the jar, so how long do I need it to? And that's it, that's the length of the string, so there's one string that should be longer than the rest, so that will be the one that you'll use later here. So using the longest string that we cut just now, we have to fold it into half, let's find our center here, okay, and then tie at both ends. And pin it on the board because we are going to start attach the other strings so I'm just gonna put you here show you an example how to do that and then using the other string show you we're gonna do a large head knot so fold it into half here's the head put under and then pull out the other two strings. So this is a simple large head knot. So we have to attach um, the rest of the strings here. So this will be how it will look like after we attach all the strings. Um, so we just have to continue what I did earlier. So we have to grab our jar and attach it in the mouth. Put the jar here. So what we're gonna do is we just have to make sure that the base string is even. And um, we're gonna tie this with just a normal knot. Okay. 
So this is how our jar should look like after we attach all the um, strings on it and um, after we've done that now we're ready to do our knots. So um, for the design that I'll be doing, I will grab four strings here and then I'll do a, a square knot. So after you have these four strings, grab the string on the right side, put it on top of the two strings, over. Okay, then grab the left string, put it under the right string and under the middle strings and then outside and then tie it together and then we have to do the same thing but we have to do it on the left side. So same, left string, over, right string under, out and then pull it. It up. So that is. So for the next um, thing that we could, we're gonna do is we will do a double half hitch um, knot. So actually earlier I added one long string. So when you do a double half, half double half hitch, you have um, to have one string that is longer than the rest. So this is the one that I have. So what you'll do is you grab that string. And then pull another string and then what we'll do okay so the next string will be this one so what we'll do is you we twirl it around to make a knot and then pull it out so it's like you're making a donut here and then we do again another round so we have to lock it like that So that's how you do a double, um, a horizontal double half hitch. So same thing. Grab. So we're going to do the same thing for the next string. Round. Pull up. Another one. Together. So we have to tie it up. And another one. another one so it eventually it will create a line here that will indicate this design so that's why that's why I want to do that so I can um, that's why I want to do that so I can um, So I want to do that so I can identify the square knots here on top and then we have to start again for another design after this um, horizontal double half hitch at the bottom. So we we'll just have to continue that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we will do a um, square knot again. But this time we will do it in between of this um in between of this the in between of the first knot. So this time we will do it in between of the first knot that we the first square knot that we did. So since I ended up here, so let's find a way to connect this two. So I'll do a square knot.
So after I'm, I'm done with the first um, layer, after the double um, half hitch, um, we'll, we'll grab three pairs, three um, square knots. So we have to grab three square knots. And then again, we have to do it here. Another square knot. So we have to do it in between of those two square knots. So grab another two and another two on the other one. So we're trying to make a triangle shape. And then again, another in the middle. So we have to do it um, to the rest of the, the jar. So, again, another tree here. Okay, so now I have three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. Group of three square knots. And um, what we do next in each uh, here, in each square knot, in each group of three, we will do a diagonal double half hitch. So let's say this first. This three. So grab each end, okay, grab each end, what we'll do is, this will be our, um, our main, main, so grab each end and this will be our main string. So what we'll do is the same thing like what we did here, we'll grab another one, the next one, round, pull out, and tighten up, and make in the same string, make another round. It's like that. So same thing here, second string. And another one. So see, you're starting to see the diagonal is shaping. So it's shaping like a triangle now. So the last one. Okay, so what we'll do after we're done on this side, we'll do another side. Same thing, round, same string. Next, So just continue until they meet in the center. So after we're done, you'll see how it will look like. I miss this one one here. Okay, so that's, this is how it should look like. After these two mitts in the center, so you just have to do the same thing. Round, and up, and round. So, in each uh, group of three square knots, this is how it should look like. So there should be a triangle here, a diagonal, um, double half hitch 
and same thing we will do on the rest of the the rest of the char. So this is how our char should look like after we're done um, to the whole char with this three and the diagonal. So after that, um, see there's a little bit of a gap here so in order for me to fix that, I want to create a um, square knot here in the middle in between of those two um, triangles square knots that we have so what I'll do is just create another square knot just to a little bit tighten up the area so after we are done with the um, square knot in the middle of this triangle what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another diagonal double half hitch here at the bottom so using this um, strings using these strings from this square knot in the middle we're gonna use this as the main string so this is where we're going to round the bottom the bottom of the horizontal on um, no, the diagonal double half hitch Same thing on the other side, this is the, the middle square knot, so we're gonna take this string, pull another diagonal double half hitch at the bottom. And then when we reach the center, When we reach the center of the two diagonal, this is how it looks like now. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to trim the rest of the cord here at the bottom. So everything will be, all of them will be even out. After I trim the rest of the cord at the bottom, what I'll do is I will untangle the rest of the cords like how I did here. And then level them up until her because the jar have a line here so I'm gonna level it there and that's it for this DIY jar macrame so you can use it as um, a candle holder or a vase so it, it's very nice and I really love because I'm a fan of boho stuff yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it here I'll show you the final product So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and you learned something from it. If you like DIY projects, um, home decors that you can do by yourself, uh, you can subscribe to my channel, uh, ring the bell for notification because I'll be uploading more um, DIY stuff that you can do yourself as well. So that's it guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Thank you.